Welcome to the 5-minute book summaries from Goa by Frederick Norona. The program where we look at books on my collection which I've read and which have impressed me over the years. Today we have Sita Wallace, A Revolutionary Unto Death, authored by Leonor Figredo, a journalist from Portugal, and translated by Dave Smith, a Texan who learned Portugal Portuguese in Texas. This book was published in 2019 by us, that's uh, Goa 1556. Fascinating book if you ask me, even if I'm saying so myself. If you stop here, if you pause, you'll get a good idea of uh, what the book is all about. The story is most unusual, something you would never expect at all. So uh, this lady, Sita Wallace, is 26, 26 years old. She's a doctor. The year is the 1970s, 77. And uh, decolonization has taken place in Angola, Mozambique, the former Portuguese colonies. And Sita, who's of Goan origin, as is obvious, as might be obvious from her first name, uh, feels that the government there is is not on the right track and they are going on the wrong road and uh, corruption is becoming a huge issue in Angola which which it which turned out to be true over the decades so she decides to have a counter coup against the 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 MPLA government in power and uh, this is her story and what happened to her so finally, uh, she gets executed by a firing squad uh, when she's just 26 years old. It's, 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 it's an unusual, it's an amazing story. One of the unknown stories of Goan migration, which, which, uh, which, which we were lucky to come by. And, and I really rate it as one of the books which, which I always... Uh, Think very proudly of when I look back at at, at the uh, modest work we've done. Uh, it's it's not done too well in the market. The book has not done too well in the market for for a range of reasons. Uh, whatever, there is a picture of Sita Wallace next in Panjim next to the Panjim market uh, near the supermarket there and near Navtara and things like that. But coming to her story, this has a lot of small chapters. It's written in a very easy journalistic style. So the chapters deal with uh, her Goan roots, okay, uh, her Maoist phase, her medical school, her comrade, Sita and Zita, Angola 1975 and all that. So she's a Goan based in Angola. Involved in radical politics, as was common to in many Portuguese colonies and former colonies of the time. And uh, she studied in Portugal, very colorful life in the few years she's lived and things like that. So it's a very complex issue. Uh, I won't even try to, to, to go into the details here because it's so complex. The best, the fastest way we one could uh, get an idea of it is probably to check out the English Wikipedia, the Portuguese Wikipedia page on Sita, which is much more colorful. Uh, and to piece together her story. So in short, in short, since we've got a minute to go, Sita was very idealistic. Sita fought the government whom she had supported to come to power, that is the MPLA when she felt they were on the wrong road and she paid the price for it with her life and uh, this this story is one of the unusual ones which goes against the usual grain of understanding goan migration because there were there were radical leaders there there were a few no doubt there were a handful who took the side of the of of uh, black africa who supported denationalization who fought uh, for the people's uh, movements and uh, they did it with a whole lot of idealism and this is Sita's story and uh, the, the nuances are more interesting than the story itself so you know when when you read it it reads like fiction it reads like a novel uh, I must say the author has done a great job of it Leonora Figredo has done a great job of it the translator has done an even better job 
and together they put together this interesting book pick it up while it's available because once it goes out of print don't ask for copies because you know the goa book syndrome when you when you when they are there we don't know about them and by the time we get to know about it it's out of print thank you just crossing 5 minutes thanks <laughs>